Welcome to another radio related video and this is a, uh, another tutorial video for the ICOM ICR20 uh, portable communication receiver. Uh, these videos have been really popular, lots of people uh, really enjoy uh, watching uh, and learning how to use their ICOMs. So uh, today we'll talk about the antenna settings because there are two types of antennas possible on this receiver. One that's really obvious, the, uh, the little telescopic antenna that comes with this uh, radio. But if you're in the low end of the band, so medium wave and long wave, so from about uh, 100 kilohertz up to uh, 1710 kilohertz, this uh, receiver has also uh, the possibility of using an uh, internal ferret antenna. So how do you access the antenna information? Well you have to go into the menus and to go into the menu you've got on the number 8 button here this says set. So you press and hold number 8 until you get this menu. With the right dial button you'll actually be able to go up or down the menu. So you can see here the little arrow moving. So go into the AM antenna and FM antenna settings. So here you'll see the two tip types of settings here. So AM antenna you simply press a quick press on the number 8 again and there you've got external and bar. So EXT means external, means that this is the antenna used for AM, uh, which is the medium wave band, basically. Or if you don't have a really good antenna, because in medium wave, a telescopic antenna is not enough usually to pick up those signals. So this receiver has an internal ferret bar antenna which should improve and also will give you some more of uh, directional capability. Unfortunately in the ICOM ICR20 the ferret run antenna is very small so it does not perform as well as it should on other receivers but yet does the job. So all you have to do is simply go into bar and once you've select, selected the internal ferret bar antenna you just press set. When should you use external antenna? Well, if you have a shortwave antenna, for example, that has a long wire, uh, medium wave might be better using that type of antenna than actually using the internal ferret bar. So you can actually change that setting to external, which means that the antenna used is the one here, so you'll have to have a um, BNC adapter to your uh, shortwave antenna for example to be able to use that. So an external long wire or a loop if you have a medium wave loop uh, could be a good idea to uh, plug it in here and just use the external instead of the ferret bar inside which means that when you tune in uh, frequency so when we want to get out of the menu we go to dual watch here let's enter a medium wave frequency of uh, four, four. Right, zero, zero. So this is our local talk station here, uh, CJAD and medium wave. And you can see that the ferret bar antenna is very directional. So it's one of the advantage of using a ferret rod in style. But look at the signal level here for the ferret rod. I'll put, uh, I'll take out the RF gain here. Okay. So you can see here, this is the power level. Let me go into the menu and change it for the external telescopic. So let's go to the antenna. External. Now, this is the antenna being used, the one on top of the radio. Here I can see not too much of a difference, but on some frequency you will see differences. Here I, uh, for example, 
be able to use. I don't think I can uh, receive such a weak station, which is the CFRA here, but there is some difference in using it. Like I said, the internal ferret bar is not the best, so it's uh, questionable sometimes if you're going to use it or not, but it's there. The other antenna settings that are available, as you've seen, is FM antenna. So if you press and hold the number 8 key once again to go back to the menu, let's go to FM antenna and a quick press to see the options. Here is external or earphone. Now, if you're using earbuds or earphones to listen to your scanner, what's interesting is that this receiver is actually letting you choose between what is the telescopic antenna or your earphones. And one of the interesting features of that function is that if you're going uh, listening to some local FM broadcast, for example, or even some stronger uh, VHF, UHF broadcasts. What's cool about this is that um, the earbuds or the earphones that you use, actually the wire of the earphones become an antenna when you choose earphone. So you can actually listen to FM broadcast and take out this antenna. And I'll demonstrate this. Now I have external, so let's put a So let's uh, this is local. I'll take this something a little weaker, maybe. So here you've got. Station. If I take out the external antenna here, you see I don't receive anything anymore. Instead, I want to put my earphones, which are here. These are the earphones that I use for listening. Let's put the earphones into the ear. Into the earbuds, so the earbuds is uh, ear up here. So, what's cool about what's um, uh, interesting to know because if you have a uh, stereo earphones, keep in mind that the output here is mono, so in on stereo earphones, you'll hear from one ear only. And now I'll just go back to the menu. FM and choose earphone and look how the signal levels got back up the earphones now are acting as antennas and if I take out the earphones here I lose the signal so you see if you listen to FM broadcasts what's cool is that you can actually put the radio in your pocket the pocket shirt or um, in your uh, pocket of your uh, little uh, winter coat or something and actually go around without having the full telescopic whip hanging out which is not always useful especially if you're just taking a walk listening to your favorite broadcasts so to put it back just go to your menu FM external and here we are back at the external antenna on top so these are the antenna options available to your uh, ICR20. Uh, keep in mind this receiver is easy to overload, so if you put an outdoor antenna, like I have here an outdoor antenna on my ICOM ICR8500, uh, it could be a bad idea. Depends on the signal levels that you um, are receiving. And if there's lots of uh, very strong signals in the city where you live, putting an outdoor antenna on this receiver is probably not a good idea. Uh, it's a good idea if you live in a rural area with really weak signals, that, that's gonna be okay. But if you live in a city like my, like I do here, big city where uh, lots and lots of strong signals, uh, keep just with the rubber duck or uh, telescoping antenna. And another option also that's very useful here is having different antennas for different uses. For example, this is not the stock antenna that comes with the receiver. You can see it has a 
ferret it has a coil here this antenna is actually an antenna made for wide band listening from 30 megahertz up to 1300 megahertz so you can pick out one of those antennas you can pick out also specialized antennas for example this this one here is a special antenna that is made for the amateur radio bands of 2 meters and 70 centimeters so I have one for the amateur radio bands only there's also others this is a rubber duck antenna but it's a rubber duck antenna made for wideband listening also so you know you can buy different types of antennas depending on what you want to listen to and use these antennas of course for your uh, radio listening and uh, if you listen to shortwave well you know the best antenna is probably uh, a few feet of wire or just uh, you know buy these uh, little uh, just buy these uh, little alligator clip uh, type wires here and just clip a few of these uh, on your antenna uh, and it's gonna do uh, the job uh, unless you have lots of interference inside so this was a look at antennas for the ICOM ICR20 and of course look on the internet there are specialized antennas uh, sold so and um, to, to, to have different uses and different frequency range uh, have a better reception for example so hope you enjoy these videos. If you do, please click the subscribe button at the top of the screen. You'll be informed of the videos we put online, or you can add us as your as a favorite. And um, well, if you have any comments or questions, please feel free to ask. I'll be happy to answer. So thanks for watching, 73s.